Get away from me, shit bitch. Billionaire Al Mano warns Meghan to stay away. She tried to kiss me. Recent rumours suggest that Meghan Markle's been making significant efforts to catch the attention of Wissam Al Mana, Janet Jackson's ex-husband and a Qatari billionaire. According to a blind item on Crazy Days and Nights, Meghan went to embarrassing lengths during Al Mana's recent visit to town, allegedly making a fool of herself in the process. Meghan, who reportedly resides at the Beverly Hilton Hotel, has been seen getting quite close and personal with various hotel residents. This living arrangement provides her with ample opportunities to mingle and network, but it also seems to be part of a broader strategy to find a replacement for Prince Harry, with some Almana worth an estimated billion dollars according to the richest. Runs his namesake company Almana, which operates across the UAE, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Oman, as well as the UK and Ireland. His wealth and influence make him an attractive target for someone seeking to climb the social and financial ladder. Almana's past marriage to Janet Jackson was notable not just for its celebrity status, but also for its financial implications. The marriage was rumoured to be part of a business deal with significant monetary benefits tied to its duration and the birth of a child. Janet Jackson reportedly received $200 million after five years of marriage and the birth of a son, following a strict and allegedly abusive relationship where she had limited freedom. Meghan's claims of feeling like a prisoner within the British royal family pale in comparison to the restrictions Janet faced during her marriage. The severe restrictions on women's freedom in Qatar, where even disobedience can lead to harsh punishments, make Meghan's past complaints seem trivial by comparison. Given Meghan's age and inability to bear children, it's highly unlikely that Almana, who comes from a deeply religious family orientated and conservative background, would be interested in her. The idea of Meghan, known for past behaviour and liberal views, marrying into such a family is laughable. The prospect of her even passing the dating phase with a man like Almana seems far-fetched. Since her arrival in California, Meghan's reportedly been on the lookout for a wealthier man to attach herself to. However, it appears that no wealthy man's interested. There are numerous reasons for this, but the primary one is a complete lack of discretion. Wealthy individuals who often value privacy and secrecy are unlikely to be attracted to someone who publicly airs their grievances and personal issues as Meghan has done repeatedly. The wealthy typically maintain their status by keeping the private lives out of the public eye, something Meghan has shown herself incapable of doing. Her habit of running to the media whenever she faces difficulties is a significant deterrent for any potential wealthy suitor. It's a shame really because Meghan would likely leave Harry in an instant if she could find someone higher up the wealth scale. However, a lack of discretion and a penchant for public drama have made her an unattractive prospect for the kind of wealthy, private men that she seems to be targeting. In conclusion, Meghan Markle's recent actions to gain the attention of Wissam al Mana highlight a broader pattern of behaviour. Her attempts to secure a more advantageous position in life coupled with her inability to maintain privacy have ultimately backfired. Wealthy men value discretion and loyalty, qualities that Meghan has yet to demonstrate. As a result, her efforts to move up the wealth scale remain unsuccessful, leaving her to navigate her current situation with Prince Harry, where public scrutiny and personal drama continue to overshadow any genuine prospects of advancement.